Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends. And welcome to this, a brand new day. And remember, no matter who you are, you are valid. Thumbs up for that. It is hot again outside. Still under a heat advisory. Ugh. Last night when I went walkies, it was close to 8 o'clock, and it was uh, warm. I won't say blistering, because it wasn't, but it was very, very warm. So, joy on that. It's not blistering, but it is hot. And, much as I don't like to admit it, I am getting older, so I need to take care. And when it's been getting hotter, I've been not been going out. I wait until the evening, or I go out in the morning, and right in the middle of the day, I'm in here. I already went out this morning, but I didn't go for a full walk. I just went up to Walmart and back because I needed to pick up my prescription. Yay for medications necessary for the continued metabolization of this body of mine. Thumbs up for that. But yeah, and then I came back, I ate some food, and I just watched some videos. And then I played some grocery store simulator because that's my one of my latest current type of fixations. It doesn't play well. It's really choppy. It's hard to click accurately because it's so choppy, but it's fun enough. I, I still play it anyway. I just recently added a self-checkout machine to my little store. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have to keep an eye on that because it will occasionally crash. Then you have to go over, resolve it, and then head back over to the regular cashier thing to, to go back and continue helping people. So thumbs up for that. But yeah, I've been I've been trying to do things, and that's a good thing. I've been thinking of creative things and trying to think of game stuff, and I'll talk about all that first, though. I want to mention, I did buy this tea the other day, and I am bitterly, bitterly disappointed. I don't know if it's going to keep this front-wise or if it's going to reverse it, and if it does flip it so it's mirror-imaged, I don't know how to fix it, my cut. I don't know if you can flip it. So, if you can't read it properly, my apologies, but it's supposed to be salted caramel. Or caramel, depending on, you know, who you are and where you, what part of the world you live in, I guess. But, it doesn't exactly taste like caramel. It tastes like butterscotch. And I don't like butterscotch. I can eat butterscotch but I will not enjoy butterscotch but caramel slash caramel that I can eat and enjoy and that again butterscotch ugh so yeah that's a tea that I'm just not going to drink because I don't enjoy butterscotch one thing I do have to buy when I go up to Walmart tonight is some artificial flavoring. Artificial flavoring. In a way, that is true. I do need to pick up some water flavoring so that I can flavor water to drink. But what I meant was I need to pick up artificial sweetener. I use stevia as sweetener, and it works. I mean, I don't use a lot of sweetener on stuff. In fact, I don't. I put the stevia in tea. And that's it. <laughs> I, I like to sweeten up my tea. Everything else that I eat, I don't use sweetener or sugar. I still have plenty of taste. And I can still taste sugar and sweetness. So I don't need to sweeten anything. So I use it just for tea. So a container of 400 packets lasts a while. But I use anywhere from 3 to 6 packets every time I cook up three cups of tea like two packets per per cup no I was gonna say no caffeine but also no duh no calories in it so it doesn't hurt to do so yay on that past that since yesterday I have not done much I mean yesterday did the first part of the day was therapy and then followed that up with a shower and then just struggled to not fall asleep and 
then after that when it got cooler went out for a walk I haven't been able to do much aside from as stated played computer games and not many of those and just watched videos and then went for walkies and then this this morning haven't done much I've already talked about that it has been a very boring existence today last week's colonoscopy really threw me off this week I have gotten back on track so I am no longer all shook up about my dis my schedule being disrupted from the colonoscopy I mean normally a, a disruption is only like a one-day thing this was a full week's worth of issues and troubles and disruptions so joy on that but past that I've been looking at stuff as I go out trying to figure out places that I want to take my tablet to record things because I walk past stuff all the time it's just what stuff is actually worth showing I mean one of the fields I walk through has a kind of the rest of the field you can really walk through but there's a kind of they have these small hillocks and you can't really climb up on those because they're really covered and filled with all sorts of you know plant life and so it's not really safe because you can't really see what's underneath all that but I was walking by there and in the past couple of days somebody has just thrown these two tires up onto the hillock of, of grass and stuff like that and the bad part about tires not so bad during the summertime when there's not a lot of rainfall but of course tires capture water and then the water gets stagnant and then mosquitoes lay their eggs in that and then you have mosquito larvae that then get big enough and go out into the rest of the world and bite people so those stag those stagnant tires those tires are going to unless they're gotten rid of eventually do the whole mosquito thing so that's bad hey listen to that but past that I've been looking at stuff and I walked down to the cemetery again I mean it's right on the, the path when I go from where I am over to the big major part of the road when you walk down and then back up Part of coming up takes you right past the road that goes to the cemetery and then from the main road it's only like two blocks and then you're there at the boneyard I sort of want I sort of want to go in there but I also as much as I may not have respect for the dead I do for the people that are still alive and I don't want to be seen as disrespectful while in there I don't mind talking disrespectfully I don't mind thinking disrespectfully I don't want to show it and when I say disrespectfully it's like I don't mind making bad taste jokes I mean if you heard my thing when I was you know down by the cemetery before I don't show a lot of respect toward much of anything at all just because my sense of humor is goofy so I have respect for the people that go in there and hurt because of lost ones I will always show respect for that but the actual place itself the dead people don't care they're they're all dead y you can't insult someone who's dead they're dead so I don't worry about that but I don't want to hurt any live people so if and when I take the tablet in there it's going to be done respectfully until I can get away from there and not that I'm going to run it's just that I'm going to be respectful with the way I talk as well as the way I act so thumbs up for that just as a what is the word explanation <laughs> that's not the right word but I'll go with it so I am just going to do my best to not fall asleep this afternoon because it's hot and I'm going to turn my AC unit back on one of the things that I have been thinking and trying to work on though I have usually gone 
when I walk to Walmart, if I go in there, I buy food and then I come back so that I've got stuff to eat for that day or the next day. Problem with that though is if I bet food and I buy it and bring it here, I'm going to eat it. I have very little self-control. So if I buy regular food and then I just eat that regularly, but then I buy snacks that are supposed to last for a week, I'll eat those all in, in one day. I have no self-control. So I have started today not buying food. What little I have here still, I am slowly munching my way through, because it's like cans of beans and, and stuff like that, and chili. And then I'm just going to, if I'm hungry, I'm going to have to walk to the store to get something. If I want a snack, I'm going to have to walk to the store to get something. Because otherwise, I'm just going to keep eating it. That's the only way it worked before. i got to get back to it again. So, thumbs up for that. Those are my diet plans. Starvation. Not total starvation. Again, I struggle with anorexia, so I'm fighting to make sure I don't do anything stupid, but I've got to really cut down on the amount of calories. I have taken like 800 calories in in a day before while going out on walks and not been able to lose weight just on 800 calories in a day. So I gotta take in less than 800 calories in a day or I'm gonna maintain. <sighs> so that's life. Anyway though, hopefully you can get done the things that you would like to get done. That would be very cool. If you were a Patreon patron, thumbs up and thank you. Without your help, life would be so much more difficult. For everybody that has donated to my GoFundMe, and there are two two people so far. There is a Daniel, and I can't remember the other person's name right off the top of my head. I meant to write these down so I could thank people. I have gotten a $30 donation and a $125 donation. What I'm going to try and do this month after I pay my bills is match myself as best I can with some of these. So the $30 donation, I'm going to take if I can afford it after I pay my bills, take 30 bucks and match that. Then there's the 125, I can't match that. Not in one go. But then try and see if I can hit that 30 bucks and then try to match that in time. But I do have a GoFundMe to try and get a bit of computer equipment since my computer is, I have a laptop which functions well for going online. It does not edit video and it barely plays games but it is a laptop and it does function and without it I would be doomed so I am not totally lost but I'm trying to get a piece of equipment that will play games that will edit video that will be a good thing I've got a limit of like 1500 bucks because I'm not trying to buy a house I just want to buy a computer that'll work so I've got a limit of 1500 bucks and when I get my computer then it's all shot down. But if you want to check that out, it's in the links. That would be very awesome. For everybody that has left me a comment, thumbs up and thank you. I do my very best to answer as many as I can. With my nerve compression going on right now, that is not as many as I would like. But with my keyboard on the laptop over there, it does allow me to answer back as many as I, as I can. And that is a very good thing. Thumbs up for that and thank you. So son of a gun, as stated, I'm just going to try and take it easy and do what I can. I'm going to try and learn and play some more of my solo board games. I've got my solo RPG stuff. I've gotten back into trying to learn and play the Alex T slash a Black Oath Entertainment solo RPG stuff. I have talked to this guy on like Twitter and such. He spends all day like just working on RPG stuff. He releases big books on a regular basis and each one of them has a massively different setting and rules. So he does massive work. Definitely thumbs up on that. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side and that is indeed a very good thing. Yes, indeed.
So, uh, yeah, you take care. Nothing really profound, just today is the day. Creek, creek, chair, creek. There we go. That, that, that's creaky.